Hi, it's Rie. Today, I've been challenged to take a popular food and make it fancy. As a reminder, if you want to check out our merch, go to shopmakeitfancy.com. Today's challenger is Katie. Hey, Rie. I am so excited to be challenging you on this episode of Make It Fancy. It's been a while. I also have become a recent member of a very cool adult club, Costco. I want you to make a Costco rotisserie chicken fancy. I know you're gonna do something wild and awesome and it's probably gonna involve booze. So, can't wait to see it. Costco rotisserie chicken. I've never had this before. And also, I've never been to Costco. Oh, it's heavy, hefty. It smells good. It looks great. It's nice brown color. How much do you think this costs? $12.99. $4.99. The whole chicken? Do they have their own farm? So there is not a lot of artificial ingredients. This is already fancy, despite of the price. I think this is the fanciest ingredient I've ever challenged. Mmm, well seasoned. It's tender, it's a little bit dry, but it's very tasty. Seasoning is very simple. I want to make something creative upgrade, not a transformation for this time. This is a great challenge, and as always, I'm excited to make it fancy. All right, here's what I got. Carrots, parsley, thyme, heavy cream, oyster mushroom, shiitake mushroom, king trumpet mushroom, onions, potatoes, garlic, chives, butter, pearl onions, and pancetta. From the pantry, I got flour, red wine, and brandy, double alcohol. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. We have whole chicken. I'm gonna use gloves. So when these come out, mm -hmm. you have to grab them so fast because so many people want them. And the boxes are so hot. <laughs> so you cannot hold it. That kind of gives me anxiety too. I'm not sure if I want to fight that. <laughs> so I'm going to cut up chicken. Chicken has join and you put your knife, it kind of separates by itself. And you have to cut through Joints, not born. Is it side and leg? Sharp knife is important when you are cutting because uh, if it's dull, you cannot do a knife clean cut, especially the skin, the wing. I'm gonna use it for later. And breast, you also kind of see the line. So go kind of follow that line. Here's the breast. I think if you know chicken anatomy, it's easier to breast. Oh, I saw the wishbone. I'm going to use meat and carcass in two different ways. Adding carcass in an instant pot. I think this is also like instant pot season. <laughs> One onion cut in quarter, three sprigs of thyme. Adding three cups of water, put the lid. Oh, it's always confusing. <laughs> it's obvious I don't have it. Uh -huh. Use pressure cook mode and cook for 45 minutes. If you don't have instant pot at home, you can just use regular pot. Bring it, bring it to a boil and cook for 20 minutes. I also want to use the leftover juice. Save this for later. 45 minutes later. So we waited a little bit so the steam naturally released. Open this and strain the chicken stock out. The rotisserie chicken already seasoned, so I think it will be great for later. I have Dutch oven and I'm heating medium-low heat. Cook pancetta, I have six ounces. I'm going to render the fat and you want to do low and slow. I was advised that few people I should get Costco membership because diapers are a great deal, mainly diapers. <laughs> and also one of my friends told me gas is great deal as well. And my family is a small family. I don't buy a lot of bulk things. And if you get 34 bathroom tissue, where do you store? So you want to cook pancetta low medium heat or low heat so you can render out those fat. If you cook high heat, you get nice caramelized and fat doesn't render. And also when you're cooking bacon, you want to start with cold pan or low heat. It's the same reason you want to render those fat out. 
Oh, I saw someone recently tagged me on the Instagram. This person made candy corn macaron and fruit loop cream puffs. Oh, they Just two. I think this one is easy enough to make at home. So when you make anything from Make It Fancy, tag me on the Instagram. My account is the Desert Snob. Panchada is nice and crisped up. Transfer to paper towel lined plate. Add one diced onion and two carrots. And I have mixed mushroom total eight on seeds. I'm just using half and I'm going to use remaining mushroom for later. Cook until soften, raise the heat to medium high heat and saute until all the ingredients are soft and begin to caramelize. So, Rhi, what is the origin of your Instagram name? I like dessert and when I was looking for dessert snob was taken so I just put the dessert snob. I don't know snob is not the great word so maybe I should change it. Right it looks good so I'm going to add finely chopped garlic and cook until fragrant. Adding two tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir in adding one tablespoon of flour. Cook one to two minutes so it doesn't have a like flowery flavor. Now I'm adding about three tablespoons of brandy. Deglaze bottom of the pan where flavor is stuck. Two cups of red wine. So I'm gonna just go in. Bring this to a simmer. Adding one cup of chicken stock I made earlier, bay leaf and thyme. Bring this to simmer and reduce this by half or about 15 to 20 minutes. Sauce it's reduced, very nice smell. I wish you guys can smell. Add the chicken I cut earlier. I feel like the breast is a little too big, so I'm going to cut in half. Put the lid on top and cook for 20 minutes. So I'm heating a frying pan over medium heat. Melt one tablespoon of butter and adding two tablespoons of olive oil and heat up until butter is completely melted. Adding eight on seeds of frozen pearl onion. Cook until those are caramelized. Pearl onion is caramelized and I'm going to add rest of the mushroom. You season with salt. Veggies are done, but we have more things to do. Pour plenty of water. I'm adding two cup potatoes. Bring it to a boil and cook this potato until tender. So when you're cooking potato, you want to make sure to start with cold water because if you start cooking with hot water, outside it's cooked, but inside it doesn't cook. Potato is cooked through and I'm going to strain water. You can just strain in a sink like this, but this sink is fake, so I'm using strainer on the table. But this is not how you do it usually. You put this in a glass bowl, set aside until I use it. Heating up one cup of cream and 10 tablespoons of butter. Reserve the chicken fat and juice from the Costco rotisserie chicken. Eight cloves of smashed garlic. Bring this to simmer. The cream is come to simmer. I'm going to strain this and I'm adding cream mixture little by little and smash potato. Add a little more and I'm going to season with salt and pepper. The chicken fat flavor definitely comes through. The mashed potatoes taste good and let's move on. Since Katie is coming, I'm going to play for her and for myself. You want to do one white meat and one dark meat. So chicken breast here, chicken leg, add this delicious sauce, add rest of the chicken in here. At home, you can put cooked pearl onions and mushroom in the sauce, but I think it's so pretty, so I'm going to just garnish afterwards. I also have pancetta, and I'm going to use these for the big plate. Sprinkle some chives with the mashed potato, pepper, parsley, and we are done. Costco rotisserie chicken cocoa bun. Delicious!
Welcome back, Katie. Hi, Ray. <laughs> Are you Katie? <laughs> Are you horrified? It's really scary. <laughs> If you want to thank you. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> We had tail and everything. I, have a tail. I heard you recently got the Costco membership. Yes, I did. I was very excited. Is it worth it? It is absolutely. I was like, I don't need this much like toilet paper, but you do. Like, it's just one trip. <laughs> do you? <laughs> I have really enjoyed my Costco membership. You need to know exactly what you're going in there for. You're gonna come out with like a like a watch and the, <laughs> like a patio like chair set. So I made a Costco rotisserie chicken cocoa bun. I don't do anything like this fancy. You know, I just like <laughs> put some on the plate. <laughs> Mmm, so much flavor. Mm. I think this is very rustic crunch dish. But it looks fancy. It has brandy and it has Ooh, red wine. I knew you were gonna do something with booze. <laughs> Double alcohol. You definitely made it fancy. Thank you. Is it easy to upgrade like this or did this take a little bit of time? No, this is super easy. So like anyone can make a home. We have one more thing to do. What? Oh, oh I was like, what? <laughs> Three, two, one. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. <laughs>